And on that note, we cue the music. And uh, we are the Gary and Nick of Bill's books today. But we're we're in 3D. That's right. Because today is the beginning of uh, villains. The pain in the ass villains month at DC. Not pain in the ass that it's bad, but there's a lot of 3D cover controversy, and it's throwing the retailer side of the retailing business into a tizzy. So. That's kind of the pain in the ass. It's just an extra headache. and a... I don't think it's DC's fault. No. I think maybe it's somewhere in the distribution end of things. But anyway, let's get to the new books, shall we? Uh, we got a Judge Dredd book here. Ooh. How about that? A little, ju little Judge Dredd action. And next to that, Space 1999. Martin Landau. Can't go wrong. Merciless, The Rise of Ming. <laughs> we don't even got to say it. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite books on the shelf right now, 12 Reasons to Die, with a Ben Temple Smith cover. Just makes it even better. Makes it even better. A good thing, even better. Oh, Distant Soil, Colleen Dur Doran, Duran, I don't know how you say her name. Whatever, I don't care. Um, Absolution Rubicon, isn't this getting close to being over Yeah, soon? I think it's five issues. Yeah, so we get that. Uh, here's one of the DC uh, villain covers. All the 2D stuff is on the shelf. Cyborg Superman. Yeah, we use 3D stuff to either fill fill customers' orders that have pools who ask for them in enough time that we could, you know, our allocated numbers could make it. But then some of them also didn't want them because they were a buck more. Thus endeth the sermon. Yeah. All new X-Men, number one. Battle of the Atoms starting. Oh, mm. my God. Yep, it's, the, it's, it's that time again. Is it on issue 16? This book's only been coming out for like two months. And it's already got a crossover. Yeah. Um... We got uh, Catalyst Comics, so that's pretty. That cool. one and the one next to it, Black Acre. Those are. I was going to mention that because it's got a Brian Chirilla cover. And you don't I know how I feel about Brian Chirilla. I enjoy that comic. Yeah. Doesn't get a lot of love here by other people, but speaking me. of getting a lot of love, I do enjoy that comic too. I wish we had a sound effect for like two balloons rubbing together. <laughs> I'll see if I can find one. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Anyway, uh, Chew. How about that? Uh, let's see. Uh, now, now you missed. Codename action. Oh, oh, codename action. That's right. But the only reason I got it, right there. Frank Avila cover. Oh yeah. Nick got applesauce. He posted yesterday the stuff he's taken with him to, uh, to Baltimore. So, yeah, Nick's I don't, go, I don't even have to go shopping. Nick's gonna get all girly on Frank Avila. <laughs> anyway. I'll be the little Japanese school gorge. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ferris. Adam Hughes Still cover. great book. Adam Hughes covers all the Fable covers. stuff has always been good since day one. Grod. Just Grod. Talking gorilla. Forever evil. Forever a measure of time that is equal to or less than how and long if, we'll have issue one on the shelf. If people don't re already realize, if they didn't read their Justice League, allow me to spoil it. Spoil it. It's Earth 3 Crime Syndicate. Nice. I did it. I spoiled it. So I ruined it all for you. You're the spoiler. I haven't even read it yet because I wasn't in town. Iron Man. It looks like a, a villainous uh, machine man. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Dark Side, number one. 
I've heard people pronounce it dark seed. Eh. And I get a real It's practice. actually, if you technically think about it, it's the last vowel, so it would be the I would be the one that you, you would, would pronounce it. Dark seed. Anyway, uh, this I got a problem with. The creeper is not a villain. No, he's not. As such. Maybe he's, in the new 52 he is, but that's a, a sweet Japanese demon mask. He's just a fun-loving kind of guy. Yeah, he's a creeper. And who hasn't been a creeper right. now and then? So what if he follows every one of your emails and <laughs> yeah, your tweets right. and your Facebook and your right. Instagram? Drives and past your house at night, <laughs> see if the lights are on. Uh, Deadshot on uh, Justice League of America. Surprising that you think he would have been Suicide Squad, but... You'd think. However, ladies and gentlemen, Satellite Sam... That's how you watch TV. Sure. I'm sorry. That's that? how I watch TV. Wow. Uh, screwed. Look at the other cover. I know. There's like girls doing sexy time stuff. And one of them's dead, I think. I think she's supposed to be like a Frankenstein. There's a lot going on here, folks. There's a lot of, you know, I mean, there's different... <laughs> well, let's investigate it. Uh, we got the Shadow Year 1. That's a pretty good cover. Oh, yeah. That looks like a Frank Avita cover. Uh, no, 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 no. She, year one has Chris Somni covers. Shahrazad. Is that? Oh, I thought it was. Uh, it's never mind. Thin. thin. Trillium, number two. Trillium's a great series. Oh, yeah. I didn't know Jeff Lemire was supposed to be at uh, Cincinnati Comic Expo, but he canceled. Oh. I didn't know he was supposed to be there. Not the one I'm going to, but the one the following weekend. Probably because they heard about Justice League Canada and they canceled his visa. That could be. Justice League Canada. Venom? With his little Venomette. Ve Venomette? Venomette? Uh, we finally got the Wakes director cuts. Beautiful. From last week. Uh, as always, you know we love it when a new Deja Thoris book comes in. Those and this the, is why. Those definitely need the rubber balloon effect. Yeah, for sure. If you could find that, we're going to be using a lot of that, I think. Um... What do we got up here? Look at this. This looks awful cool. Gus Grimley's Frankenstein. Frankenstein is a greaser, Nick says. That's what it is. It's pretty cool. Hardcover. Very interesting art. Caught my eye in the previews. Yeah. And I said, Frankenstein is a greaser. You mean like franken Frankenicky? Frankenicky? Frankenicky. There you go. Anyway. Um, and of course, we're prepping people for... The movie. Oh yeah, uh, Days got... of Future Past. Trades are back available. Should always have tra uh, trades of Days of Future Past. Emma, call me girls. I got the. Paul Miotti and Gray. Did you get to hang out with Jimmy Paul Miotti? I when did we were see him again. Yeah. <laughs> um. Avengers AI. He's in the wind. It's like a Speed Racer cartoon. It's a. <laughs> Where's the monkey? Yeah. Brian's pick of the week. Brian has a pick of the week. Brian likes the uh, BPRD stuff, the uh, Mike Mignola stuff, the Hellboy Universe type stuff. So this is why this is Brian's pick of the week. It tends to be. Picked by Brian himself. Uh, Danger Girl. Good cover. There's a... Better cover. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hi, nice lady. Oh, are we shooting a video? Sorry. Uh, Daredevil, Dark Knights. This looks like an homage cover from the classic Frank Miller Born Again run. David Lapham, right? David Lapham. I like David Lapham. DC Universe versus Masters of the Universe. I'm not doing it. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're doing it. You're no, sure doing I'm it. not. Yeah. Ryan Egan's pick of the week. Deadpool kills Deadpool. One can only hope. I think I already made that joke, but anyway. God is dead. Bill's pick of the week. Because he ordered a lot of them. Because he I'll ordered be a lot. Honest. That's why. I'll we, be honest. That's why it's Bill's pick of the week. Bill's pick is. To get people to buy stuff that he overordered on. Tends to be a cheap sales technique. Yeah, I'm sorry. Also, this is supposed to be, there's a little bit of heat around uh, this. Yeah, it's a Hickman book, though, yeah. too. Yeah. Count Vertigo. It's a good thing that's the 2D cover. Otherwise, everyone would get motion sickness. Yeah, you got to take your Dramamine. Yep. Jeremy's pick of the week. Jeremy, I'll be in Cincinnati with this weekend. Bill's Books International. So, Jeremy's pick of the week is Relic, Green Lantern. 23.1. So, there you go. Uh, let's see what else we got. <laughs> Down the rabbit hole. Um, Lord of Mars. Oh. <laughs> hey, Lord of Mars. Good for her. Um, 
Love stories to die for. Tell us about it, Nick. Looks pretty interesting. Good I, art inside. Really good art. That's the only reason I, I haven't had a chance to flip oh, through right. it. Nick has been out of town. Nick, was it Dragon Con? Nick, how was Dragon Con? Did you love Dragon it? Dragon Con's pretty sweet. Nick loves the Dragon Con. So oh, yeah. The Mocking Dead is apparently uh, pretty it, hot right now. It's a, it's a, supposed to be a, a rip-off of, like a mockery of The Walking Dead. Which makes sense with the title. Yeah? Yeah. Nick's pick of the week. Nick likes to pick stuff. That, that I is, like. That he likes. And thusly, this week, his pick of the week is Mouse Guard, Legends of the Guard. Issue 2. Issue 2. Yeah, that's right, I picked an issue 2. That's right. Nick doesn't care. No. He's not a speculator. Nick is a, uh, he's, he's in it for the love of the comics medium. Anyway, Mouse Guard's always awesome. Uh, let's see here. Sheltered, a pre-apocalyptic tale, number three. Where the kids revolt. The kids are revolting. Speaking of revolting, here's Carl's special pick of the week. Carl, Sonic, he loves Sonic. Carl loves Sonic. It's his favorite character. Carl is a guy that helps out with the shows occasionally, and he was a little upset that he didn't get a pick. So, so we wanted we to make sure pick. to remedy that. We let him pick. This is what he came up with. Sonic. Which is why he didn't have a pick in the first place. Uh, let's see what else we have. The Star Wars, number one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. That's the one. This is what happens with uh, George Lucas's first draft, which I think it is goes the, to Dark Horse. I think is what the the first three prequels were all first drafts. So there you go. Uh, let's see who Andrew's pick of the week. Oh wait, last issue X Factor. X Factor, we hardly knew you. Mm. Andrew's pick of the week, X Men: Battle of the Atom, Chapter One. Time to get it going. Sure. Why not have a crossover? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, oh, well, how do you think I feel about that? I think you're kind of intensely erect about it. I am. Is that what I, I'm poking you? <laughs> he actually moved. It's not that big. Not in the wintertime, anyway. Here's uh, Batman and Robin, Two-Face, number one. How about that? That's a pretty good cover. That looks like it hurts. The way he's, like, never mind. There's a whole thing. What was going. that one movie, Box and Helena? Yeah, right. Boxing Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne's box. Batman Black and White, number one. There's some nice looking art in that one. Sure. <laughs> Pearl necklace. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's what way to take the tragic point in time in Batman's life and turn it into a cheap, smutty joke. Because I said Pearl necklace. Ventriloquist, number one. From Batman the Dark Knight. That's one of the few remakes in the New 52 that is a little more intense and scary than the original Ventriloquist. Excellent. That's the kind we like. Dexter, my pick of the week. I picked Dexter because I like it when guys kill other guys. He's just saying. I'm just saying. Final issue. Is it really? Django. Seven. Seven of seven. I had to look again to make sure you know my track record. Is Django days. on TBS? Yeah, Django is actually now free on Netflix. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, Desaad. Desaad. Earth 2, number one. How about that? Um, Joe's pick of the week. Haunted Horror. Because Joe likes the classics. Joe likes the classics. Joe, we call him Punisher Joe, but he, aside from Punisher? Punisher, he likes all the really early stuff. And thusly, this is Joe's pick of the week. Another book I'm very excited about came out, number one, Hit. It's supposed to be kind of an L.A. confidential, 1950s L.A. noir kind of thing. So yeah, it works for me. Very excited about that. I don't, know, uh, I don't know too much about the art team, but there you go. Infinity, oh, book you... part two, Chad's pick of the week. Chad likes big mega crossover events because... If there's no turtle book. Yeah, if there's no tur if, if he's not turtling this week. <laughs> <laughs> you, you passed over Hoax Hunter. I don't care what people say. I still like this book. Who says anything bad about hoax hunters? Well, we don't sell a lot. Oh, well, just I, I think it should sell more. Just because our customers are Philistines doesn't mean that. Uh, That's not you people watching, obviously. No, no, obviously you people are of discerning taste, or you wouldn't be watching us to right. begin with. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Quantum and Woody. Issue two was funny. Why aren't we ever the Quantum and Woody of Bill's books? I don't think we're that quick. That's true. Think of it. I'm pretty quick, depending on what I'm doing. Um, Reality check, number one. A lot of number ones this week, huh? Hey. Yeah. They got to roll with the points. Sure, sure. Red 10. Nice. 
finally, well, this is finally an issue I don't have that I hadn't gotten from the Comics Tribe guys. This is the prequel to the Pink Twelve. <clears throat> I already see, I already see Total Recall on there. Yeah. Spider Man, superior foes of Spider Man. Uh, Big news on the on the next one there. Uh, Spider, Sp the superior Spider Man next to it. Oh, that's pretty big, yeah. Miguel O'Hara, two thousand ninety nine. The Mexican Irish guy from two Spider Man two thousand ninety nine. Dennis's pick of the week. Here's something you might not know about Dennis. Dennis's favorite all time character is Superman, and because he likes Superman so much, his pick is generally a Superman book. It seems only logical. If it seems like we're going out of our way to over-explain the picks of the week... We may be. There's a reason for it. Trust me, I know what's best for you and everybody. Uh, Takio? Finally! You want to talk about Bendis taking his time. And, uh, I waited that long for an all-age book. That's a shame. Uh, so I guess that's the majority of the new books. Like I said, we always skip over a few. Oh, what do we got down here? Oh, Walking Dead hardcover. Ever heard of it? It's a little little thing. Yeah. So uh, that's the majority of the new books. We skip over some things here. Nick, is there anything I that I missed that you want to talk about? Uh, I think you you want well, you missed the Detective Poison Ivy. Okay. And then real quick, the Scotty Young, as always, kind of cool. Emerald City of Oz. We don't rehearse this. We no. just we just show up and do it, man. Hey, I came here an hour after I landed this yesterday. Is like, this is like a Roger Corman production. Yeah, Nick came straight here practically from the airport. I'd like to think more we're more, more like trauma. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, I'm reading a book about Roger Corman right okay, now. Okay, gotcha. So I'm really, you know, into that. Let's look at the swag, shall we? Look, it's the Wolverine. I like when they call him the. Here's what I like. It, it's only It's only so late. Because the movie's already, I think, probably out of the theater it's by probably, now. Yeah, it's probably in the dollar. But theaters. here's why: because it gets packed with metal claws and bone claws, so they pretty much were about to spoil the movie they with the figure. Want to, they didn't want to spoil or alert it. We also got look at this. This is the best. Oh, I'm going to probably have to get one of these. Space Ghost and Gleep and Gleep. How about that? That's no, it's Blip. 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 Gleep. Gleek is the the one. From, Wonder Twins. Yeah, the Wonder Twins. And then don't forget our lovely, lovely, looks like they were smoking his own product, yeah, pack job. Yeah, whoever packed these was, we finally got the Heisenberg figures in. I saw them at, uh, at Toys R Us about two weeks ago, but I'm very excited about yeah. that. And this is how they, this is how they pack them for us. That sounds, that looks about right. Right. So if you, if you like your figures out of the package, buy them We got them. Um, we also got the, the Diamond or Previews exclusive. Walter White in his hazmat suit, his baby blue hazmat suit. It brings out the color of his jaundiced skin. Uh, and so the Injustice. Oh, yeah, we got the Injustice moon boots. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's Hal Jordan. Dude, do you, do you notice he looks like one of the Deadpool kids that shops here? Look at his face. He looks like that Deadpool kid, doesn't he? He does. Yeah, one of our customers who really likes Deadpool, there's a couple of them that come in here looks just like that. It's weird. Hmm. I wonder if he did a little face modeling. Maybe. I'm sure he has in the past. Uh, let's see here. We got some more pops. We got the Wolverine. We got some Monsters University. How about that? Or those are bobbleheads. I'm sorry. Bobbles and then the And then we got the Monsters the University. The yes. Pop. We also got a Captain America belt buckle. I think it's a business card holder. Or a business card holder. Okay. I was going to say if it's a belt buckle, it's for people who will never unbuckle their belt in the presence what? of a member of the opposite sex ever. Uh, we have a Batgirl statue. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that, I, I opened them up. It's it's nice. Yeah, looks pretty good. So we got some other stuff over here real quick. Let's go over here. First of all, Nick was nice enough when he went to Dragon Con to pick this up. Dream Thief, one of my favorite books right now. Also, uh, Jay Nitz signed a little thing for me, which is awesome, which I'm going to take home. And, a cool guy to talk to. Yeah, so um, also... Uh, we got high, from High School Heroes, uh, Jay Masia, I think, James Masia. I don't know how you pronounce his name exactly. But uh, he did a book called The Poe Murders, self-published. And I picked up the first issue at, uh, at C2E2. And he had the second and third issues available, so I ordered those. The Poe Murders, definitely check that out for self-published goodness. 
it's Edgar Allan Poe type stuff. So cool, it's, it's really good. Um, also, I wanted to talk about this really quick. I've been getting into digital comics lately, which I know is counterintuitive for somebody that works in a brick and mortar comic book shop. But there are certain things you get, you can't buy in book form, like Sparrow and Crow, and is- certain issues of Foster and stuff like Palmy that. Palmy Gray's Sex and Violence is only digital. Yeah. So, um, so I've been looking. I've been. I went back to get Way of the Rat, the the cross gen series. It's kind of a kung fu series. Why I never got it, I don't know. But I can find the first and the third trade paperbacks, but not the second. So I found this on the internet on Amazon. And it was like five bucks, and it's a digital motion comic. It's like a CD or DVD you put in your computer. There you go. And it's it's the issues that I need with extra content. So it was unique. It was a little a little strange. I haven't I I watched a little bit of it. Looks great, but I haven't watched the whole thing. And let's be honest. Someday at a show, you're going to find that those trades in like sure. a five dollar bin or something. But until then, if I if I watch this, then I can buy the third trade paperback. Yeah. Because I can't buy it until I you know anyway. So. Uh, this one, we wanted to make sure that we let you know. I'll be at Cincinnati this weekend at the Cincy Comic Con, thrown by Tony Moore. Nick will be at Baltimore with Bill, and we will both have a copy of NFL Super Pro number one, signed by both of us. The first person to say, hey, you're that idiot from the videos. You're that idiot. Yeah. I said, Vidiot. Nice one. Yeah, it's like Frank and Nicky. Um, then I'm just terrible with those. Oh, two. yeah. yeah. Um, then you will get a free signed copy of uh, NFL Super Pro from us we will have it with us so do that come see us at cincinnati and baltimore bill's books fighting on two fronts this week sorry we didn't get to the previews this week but the catalog went missing somehow that i had everything marked in it that we wanted to talk about so we'll have to do it when we come back next week and we'll do a tour of the store all of these all of this craziness will be beyond us so we will be able to, to actually uh, get something to delve into something but uh yeah, I made a special trip over here this morning on my way to my other job to uh, actually shoot the video so that you would not go without fantastic content. As long as I have internet connection. From Bill's Books, yes, right. So, until next time, we'll see you later. Live long and, you know, Live long uh, and make money. Yeah. <laughs>